Today I'm going to attempt to fix my Samsung 60 inch projection DLP television. I recently on the internet found through dynamic lamps a um, replacement chip for the mirrors and I'll show you what the TV is doing you can see the little white dots on the image it's actually white and black dots as the mirrors either stick open or stick close and uh, turn the TV on and give you an idea what it looks like with an image so you can see in this picture here there's lots of black and white dots so I'm gonna take the back of the TV apart and see how this goes it started out with one or two mirrors and put up with it for a little while and uh, the mirrors more and more and more till it's pretty much covering the whole screen now. Uh, so now it's time to make this TV work again. Um, about six years ago, I had to change the red uh, LED, and uh, so this is the second repair I've done myself to the same TV. We've got it in 2007, so it's lasted. 10 years so far. Still working great besides that. Let's see how this goes. So I ordered a new DLP chip from dynamiclamps.com and it showed up in regular mail. Small box. Uh, no invoice. The invoice was shipped uh, via email. And a few packing peanuts. And the new part, which supposedly is going to plug right in. So we'll give this a shot and see how it works. The item number on this is TI forward slash 4719 dash 001997. And it looks like it works on a Mitsubishi, Samsung, or Toshiba television. Well, I now have the television uh, set up on a table. It's just my wife and I able to move it in here and set it up. Uh, you're now looking at the back of the TV. And um, I have to pull the whole back panel off, which is a series of Phillips screws. The TV we have is a 60 inch Samsung model HL-T618S. Well that was interesting. It's 32 degrees below freezing or zero degrees Fahrenheit. I had to wait for my batteries to thaw out so I could do this. Well, after moving 11 screws, all the same size and same type, it looks like this whole back piece will come right off and reveal everything inside. Well, I now have to pull this, what I think is called the light engine, out. And there's a cable here I have to undo and a cable here. And it looks like two screws that I have to pull out. And this should pull straight out. So let's play with this a little bit. There's a little clip on it. 
and push the clip on it and I have to pull real hard and careful. I don't want to pull the wires out, but I was afraid I was going to break it, but it does come out. Just a little grabber clip there. You got to squeeze in. Um, and then these just untwist. And then that will come off. Then there's a little button here to push down on a plastic retainer. And that will open up so they can pull this wire out of that retainer and pull it aside. And pull this wire aside. And pull these two screws out. They look to be the same as the other 11 screws that I pulled out, so I don't have to worry about mixing up screws so far. And then theoretically, this whole unit should slide out. And I do see another cable over here that I have to take loose. Same thing, clip and just pull that out. Tuck it back in behind out of the way so that this unit will pull out. And that's out. Well, the next thing I have to do, I just got done dusting it a little bit, is pull two screws out of this cover here, and they're located down in this narrow slot here. And the second screw down here. looks again like these screws are the same as all the other screws so I still don't have to worry about what screws go where. And then this should come right off. And then the next thing I have to do is pull off all the cables. tab you got to squeeze to get it to release and then it comes off. That first one is this fan I'm a little concerned because I don't know what that much about this and that these two are identical and the next two are identical so there's Really, no way to know for sure that I put the, unless it doesn't matter, but I'm going to mark them so that I know that I put them back the way they were when I started. Well, as you can see, I, being a novice and not sure, want to make sure I put the right wires in the right spot because they look identical, the two next to each other. I marked this one green and mark this other one purple and did the same thing for the next two so that I can pull those off with confidence by putting them back in the right spot they are hard to come off I'm kind of nervous at first that I'm going to pull the wires out but they do come out, just give them a little wiggle make sure you're squeezing that clip so that's two and the small one came off a little easier and this last small one took those up and out of the way I actually have another one here the clips can be a little bit hard to get to that came off fairly easy and just pull that aside I'm going to do is remove this here just to get it out of the way 
It's got two screws. screws back so I know where they went. And I'm going to pull this fan out of the way. It's got two screws on it. I'll leave those two screws in the fan so I know where they go. Next thing is to pull this heat sink out. It's got four screws. Spring loaded it looks like. Real long screws there. Spring comes off with them. I should grab the spring. Then there's a clip here holding the heat sink in. slightly and then just pull it off of the tab and bring that around it should just come off the other side so I have that off and I'm gonna hold in and give this a little bit of a twist just to free it up and then gently pull the heat sink out and that came off with no problem the next thing is to pull four screws out of one out of each corner. I'm getting close, I can see the chip under that heat sink I removed. Starting to get into some different screws here now. piece of tape. And that's those four screws. And I'll remove this backing plate. It seems like it does not want to come out with this clip in, which is looks like it's double-sided tape in. So hopefully I can remove that clip without destroying the double-sided tape. Just gently work it with getting underneath the tape. And that's 
still got some sticky to it, so I should be able to restick that. And then they have some tape attached to this at the bottom here. Gently pull that tape off. I don't know what it is exactly. Just work my screwdriver underneath it and pull it off. Okay, so I have that tape free and now this backer should come off. So now I'm getting closer, I can see the chip. Next, I have to remove four screws, one, two, three, and four. Um, being very careful not to touch these three screws. And that comes right off. I'm going to make a little mark on the top just for my own. Uh, who knows? I just write even top on there. So I don't have to think about which way it goes back. Set that aside, put the screws back in it so I know where they were and where they go. See, I have one more clip to remove wires from. And now I get some slack out of the clip in the back. And I'll get that wire off. Squeeze the release. And gently work it out. Set that aside. Now let's see if this comes loose. Felt a little stubborn, but all of a sudden it just gave and it's coming loose. And there on the back is the defective chip that I'm going to replace right there. And I now need to remove the DLP chip. Um, so just wiggle it. Push pressure on the board while I'm pulling up. It should just come out. And it just came right off, no problem. It's just a whole lot of pins. So that's my defective chip. Well, I have my old chip out and the new chip that I received in the package. So I'm just going to work in reverse now. can only go in one way. It's all squared off at the bottom here and it's got a 45 degree corner up there to match 45 degree corner there so can't put it in upside down. So put some pressure on the back side so I can set all these pins.
looks like it's setting right in. Nice and tight there. Nice and tight there. It's fully seated. Not rocking. Okay. So the new chip is in. And I'm just going to reverse order everything that I did previous. Now that I have the DLP chip in, I'm going to carefully inspect it and make sure there's no lint or dust. Or, and I did notice that it did have some on it, so I took a lens cloth and I wiped it off and then reflect the light just right to make sure you, it's clean. And it is clean. So we're going to reinsert the board. I actually inserted the board without checking the chip and then thought eh, maybe I should have checked that chip and sure enough there was lint on it. Take this plate which I marked top just so I wouldn't have to think about which way it went. Set it into place. Be real careful not to strip out these screws or cross thread them. I should be using a hand screwdriver. since it's here. Well, I originally put the board in and set the screws. And it wasn't until I went to put this plate back on that I realized the screws have to go over the plate. And so, pull the screws back off. Set the plate back in. It's like that sticky tape. I don't know if it's important or not. I'm going to make sure I get it back on. Looks like all these metal tabs all the way around it go on the outside. And there it's firmly set. Now I put these screws in. straight there. Now I have the heat sink to put back on. And that just set in like this. And it was just a clip holding it in place. So 
gently work that in. That clips back into place, put the bottom in first, and then get the top to snap in. Stick this tape back on. This has still got sticky to it. We'll stick that back. Plug my wires back in. Green back on the green. Uh, put that purple in first. I'll have to work around it. Snap. And then the green back in. Clip. these screws with the springs on them, fill up screwdriver to start those. These screws, they weren't that tight when I took them off, so I'm going to be Real careful not to over tighten them, putting them back on. Just compress the spring a little. fan back on.
to go back on. Double check, I have all the wires connected, plugged in, screws are tight, everything's clean, the fan had a little dust on the blades, I've already taken care of that, pull this wire out of the way, and I'm ready to slip this back into the cabinet. Looks like I've got that back in all the way. Two more of these screws. Seal that into place. Now that I've got the part back installed. Just got a couple wires to plug back in. This one went through here under this clip, which is still loose. And it's still the adhesive actually stuck again, but it is looser than it was originally. So that's in. Up. Um, I'm going to pull this wire out put it over. So loosen that up, pull that out, and pull this clip off. I just didn't like how that was sitting. And I'll put this back in. And then put this in here again. Lock, so I'm just going to push down and snap it. And set it in. Tighten the screws. And to make sure I'm tightening them evenly, a little bit on each side. Okay, so fan wire is up and out of the way. That is out of there. That's still. So then there's this cable here. I snapped off a loop earlier. Reconnect it. So I hear it click. And then I took one off over here. that back on until I hear it click. Okay, so all the wiring and all the parts are back in and it's just a matter of putting this back on which is the cover.
I have no parts left over and no screws left over. So let's plug her in and see if she works. Well I just completed the change of the DLP chip in my Samsung 60 inch 1080p and what you can see is all I needed to do it um, I used a cordless drill with a Phillips um, a, f a handheld Phillips just for some of uh, especially the ones with the springs on them uh, so I didn't cross thread I used two markers I wasn't sure if I needed them but there was uh, a couple clips where the wires were the same colors um, and I want to make sure I put the clips on the right ones uh, so I marked them and that happened actually twice uh, two fans and I'm not sure what the other ones were and um, to get the little clip off of the heat sink I was able to do that with just a little um, thermostat screwdriver and of course in the plastic bag you see uh, the um, DLP chip so that was all it took to put that together well it's pretty obvious the TV is out of the picture I um, had this installed in the TV and the TV was not working and so I pulled it back out and TV still on the cabinet where it belongs and uh, zoom in here a little bit and tell you, show you why that little plug right there um, I missed one I didn't get that plug plugged in and um, I figured that was probably the case that's why I pulled it back out to check and um, sure enough, this little plug goes right there. Just clicked it in. And hopefully, that's it. Well, I'm done changing out the DLP. And you can see that all the black dots are gone. All the white dots are gone. It's a purely simple process. I'm not an uh, a person who repairs TVs, a uh, heating and air conditioning guy. Um, but I thought I would take it on because it seemed like it was fairly simple. And I will tell you, less than an hour, um, besides one mistake of not having one of the plugs plugged in and having to take it back out, um, it was very easy. And uh, if you're thinking about doing it, I would say, try it. It'll work. Goodbye.